All right, y'all. I, I, I got to say something. Because if I don't say it, it ain't going to be said. You got some stupid motherfuckers out here, bro. Bro, I swear to God. It's so many dumb people, bro. Lamar Jackson got the, got the start. All right. Who expected this man to throw for 300 yards, three touchdowns, no pick? Who, who expected that? He had the game that everybody who knew he was going to play expected. This is the type of game you expect him to play. And you still got people. He can't run the ball 27 times. He can't run the ball 27 times. Duh. Who you're not fucking solving a mystery here? It's like, are you are you really fucking retarded? Are you really stupid? And not, oh my god, bro! I thought it was just the dumbass fans. I thought it was just fans saying this shit. I thought it was just the stupid dumbass fans that like just. I thought it was them saying that. No, but you every single person are repeating the exact same thing. Like, they are the first person to realize this. Like, wait a minute. I must be a fucking genius. Hold up. They ran it 20. He ran the ball 27 times. You can't run the ball 27 times every single. Who the fuck is going to. Who? Like, obviously. Oh, uh, duh. Who? Obviously. This was just a first game. Your first game. Game plan. This was a game plan for your first start in the NFL. Your first start since you have not started yet. Every other rookie has started. You are the only one who haven't started, but they don't have the skill set that you do. So we're going to cater to that because they're going to They're not going to expect like the brought the Bengals was the good. That was a perfect test to see what he can do. He threw it well. Okay, he wasn't throwing the ball all over the place. He didn't throw like six interceptions. He didn't like. Come on now, come on now. Like, people, I, I swear, bro. People are so fucking stupid, and it really, it really pisses me off. Like, people are so fucking stupid with that. Oh my god, bro. It's like, who don't know that? Like. It's every. If it wasn't everybody saying, if it was just people in the comments saying, oh, I, I watch highlights. I do. I seen the, he every running pass, every running pass like he ran every play. Shut the fuck up. Shut your bitch ass up. Oh my god, you so stupid. I swear, bro. If another person says that shit, if another person says that shit, like who doesn't know that, man? You, they didn't plan that. And like, he ran the ball. He runs it too many times. I don't like, he runs, the, we need Flacco back. He run it too many times. You do know that those were designed runs. Most of his runs were designed, meaning the fucking coach called the play. The court and offensive coordinator called the play for him to run. It was his decision to run it. When he had to throw the ball, he threw it. The, play, the plays that he had to throw the ball is either he threw it away, he threw it, he or he got sacked. Like, what are you not getting? Are you really that fucking retarded? I swear to God, bro. <sighs> With all that being said, I won't flat go back. Uh, it's not because I don't think Lamar Jackson can play. I want, yeah, I think Lamar Jackson can play. If he plays next week, I'm not upset. A flat goes plays. I'm not ecstatic. Like I'm not super excited. But it's just like right now we have a playoff spot. <laughs> not that I don't think we can win. We can't win. I mean, without Lamar. I do honestly believe that we can win in this league with Lamar Jackson. I believe that. This year, I honestly believe that we can win with Lamar Jackson. But Joe Flacco is and probably will always be a better passer than Lamar Jackson right now. And look at look what the fuck just happened on Monday night. The Kansas City Chiefs scored, what, 51 points or something like that? 
51 points and loss. Think about that. Like, it's getting... I, I know everybody loves that. Everybody's like, oh, man. It's just like offense, offense. <sighs> yeah, he... It, like, the only defense that's getting played is when the quarterbacks fuck up or when somebody fumbles. That's the only time defense, defense, is getting played. Like, this shit... That's not, it's not fun to me. This is not fun to me. Watching these types of, watching that, watching that Monday night game, I cut it off, man. Like, after, after, after a certain time, after, I, <laughs> after, like, I see Robert Woods get wide open again, like, nobody around him, or Tariq Hill is just running with nobody near him into the end zone. That's, it, it gets to the point that games like that aren't exciting anymore. It, I remember the the Giants in the uh, uh, Saints game. Watching that game was exciting to me because it didn't happen all the time. This year is like it's like whatever. Like you score fifty points, you win. Like you ain't win. Oh man. Like <laughs> like you just, you just gloss over the fact that you this man Patrick Mahomes he just threw six touchdowns. He, he also threw two picks. One he got ran back for a touchdown, but he threw six touchdowns, and you just gloss over that because hey, you lost, man, you lost. Oh well, like come on, like he has scored so many touchdowns that him scoring six in one game is nothing. What are we? What timeline is this? Like come on, like this is hard, like. I don't understand how people like this. This isn't the NFL that I, this isn't the type of football I don't, that's why I don't watch college football. That's probably why people love college football so much. Because no defense is getting played. Zero defense is getting played. Alright, I just had to get up on here. Talk about that. Because it, it, it was just something that been spewing for a long time, for the past 24 hours, honestly. It was, and honestly, it was things that I expected to see. I should have prepared myself better for it, but, like, just just seeing it in word form, in the comment section, and hearing Chris Carter talk about it, like, like he was, like, he's, like, fucking Nostradamus or something, like, he saw the future, oh, you run it 27 times a game. <laughs> Like, think about it. Think about it. Who the fuck thinks that this is going to be a, a game? Like, unless you run the ball with Lamar Jackson 27 times every single game. Nothing's going to happen. This is John Harbaugh. As much shit as, as much shit I talk about, uh, about uh, uh, John Harbaugh, he knows better than that. That was a first your first start game plan. Game plan. Say it with me. Game plan plan. It was a game plan. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, bro. And you see the same thing said over and over and over again. It's like, bro, we know, who doesn't know that, man? <laughs> and, and, and like, I'm starting to think Y'all don't want Lamar to start for some other reason. I don't know. Like I'm, I, I couldn't. I can't put my finger on it. Why? I'm like, well, like you don't hear this kind of thing about any other quarterback. Any other quarterback, you don't hear it. You didn't hear it for Tim Tebow. Everybody wanted Tim Tebow. Everybody wanted Tim Tebow. Skip Bayless would go out there and, and swear Tim Tebow was he was actually he was literally Jesus. Oh my God, bro. But like I said, I wanted Joe back for this year to finish this year off because he started the year off pretty good. He better than I thought he was gonna do. But at the same time, it's still he's still the same Joe. Like, like it was foolish of of us, myself included. Okay, it was foolish of us to think that he would change. Anything would change about him. Like every other quarter. Every other qu- quarterback's over here throwing 500 yards, 300 some c- touchdowns. They're throwing like that consistently, like 350 yards consistently, every game. 
I think Joe threw for over 200 yards like twice this year. Maybe not even that. He been in the league 11. That's another thing I want to talk. That's another thing I want to say. Like, I see, I've seen a lot of people pointing to that interception that he threw. Like, he was trying to do too much and he just threw it. He just threw it to the defender. How many times have we seen Joe do that exact same throw? How many times have we seen Joe throw a touch, throw an interception? We'll be like, who are you throwing it to? How many times have we seen that, man? And Lamar Jackson's excuse is this is his first start. He's a rookie. Joe been in the league for 11 fucking years. There is no excuse. None. You've been a starter your entire career. There is no fucking excuse, bro. There is no excuse. And you got people who would who would just have his back. I don't get it, man. Do you want another 8-8 eight and eight season? Another 9-7 season? No, no playoffs. None. Is that what you want? Yes. Of... Had we started Lamar Jackson from the start, we probably wouldn't have four wins right now. We probably, we would probably be like, but still, it's like, you want something. It's like you want something different. This is one season. One season, and it's ending up, we are in the exact, think about it. We are in the exact same position after the bye this year as we was last year. We did not make the playoffs last year. We didn't. And look at the teams we got to play. We, um, think about it. When we went into the bad this year, we had the same exact record as we had last year. Nothing is getting done. It's just the same thing over and over again. The same mediocrity. I get it. We're not trash. We're not horrible. We're not the worst team in the NFL. But nobody wants to be average. When, you, when you're aiming to win to be the best when you're aiming to be the best you cannot settle for like mediocre you cannot settle for that you cannot settle for making the playoffs at 9 and 7 making the playoffs and yes you want to make the playoffs regardless of your record but I, who wants to do that who wants to go through that at 9 and 7 who wants to do that man who wants to rely on other teams to lose so you can get into the playoffs who wants to do that Guess that's the Ravens' way. That's how that's that's how the majority of the fans wanted to be. I guess that's how the Ravens fans we are we were spoiled with winning season after winning season. We was spoiled with winning season so much when we are mediocre. It feels like we're. <coughs> excuse me. It feels like we still we still we still in there. We still in there. Ever since that the year after the Super Bowl, we went eight and eight. It was like. It was like times during that season where we was like, man, we trash. And then out of nowhere, we're in the playoff race. Oh, man, we lost this game. But we won this one, so we in the playoff race. Oh, my God, that win against the Vikings. Oh, my goodness. Like, almost went to overtime. Four lead changes in the fourth quarter. Oh, my goodness. We looking like a playoff team, but then we get smacked by the Patriots, who are an actual playoff team. We get smacked by the Bengals. And we who are an actual playoff team. Think about it, man. Just like think about it. Take the purple goggles off for a minute. I think that's what every fan needs to do. Every Ravens fan needs to do that. Take the purple goggles off. Take them off. Look at shit. Look at it from like a different perspective. That that five and eleven season that we had, that was the best thing that could have happened to us. For me. As a fan, that was the best thing for us to experience a losing season for once and have to watch other teams. If you want to watch football, you have to watch other teams because your team is fucking trash. That was the best thing that ever happened because your perspective. Did I say it right? Perspective. Perspective. (laughs) Your perspective, it widens. You can, you understand looking at. That playoff game against Green Bay and the Cardinals. Looking at that. That that is those were playoff teams. Those are teams that deserve to be in the playoffs. 
Do you look at us? How we even got? There is no way. There is no way, man. The way that we were playing, like last year, last year, how we made the playoffs last year, we were getting smacked. But I honestly, I feel like this year, if Joe comes back, if Joe comes back this year, we got a chance. We got a chance because, I said, like, the way the league is, the way the league is, even with our woes at the running back position, we, we, we got to stick with Alex Collins. I, I know what Gus Edwards did. We got to stick with Alex Collins, all right? He's the best back we got on the team, okay? Remember, Todd Gurley, his second year, after, he's, after he broke out his rookie year, his second year, he didn't really do all that much, honestly, honestly. And this year, this year and last year, matter of fact, he's playing pretty good. He's playing really good, matter of fact. So, like, you just got to stick with guys. And that's the Ravens' problem, too. We don't stick with guys. We don't stick with our players. We just, like, if you're not, if you not like, a beast every year of your career, then you you can't do it. You can't be on our team. That's what that's what they did with Tim, Will, Tim White. I was going to say Tim Williams. Tim White. That's what they did with Tim White. Like, you, you, you're not good now all the time. You don't make a play every time the ball gets in your hands. Then you gone. I'm sorry. Ain't nothing we can do with you. You, you, you bad. You just a bad player. Until you go to another team, you be good, and you be like, well, we ain't doing it for the Ravens because you ain't stick with them. We, we, we impatient to the point like, I get it. I get why you're impatient. I get it. If you're John Harbaugh, of course you're impatient. You're on the clock. You're on the hot seat, man. You need you need playing. You need players that's gonna play every single play because if they don't, you gone. I get it, but like that's why I hope Eric DeCosta hope he sticks to a to a plan. Hope he has a plan. I don't know. Maybe stuff will change this off season. I'm ho- I, I I know a lot of people want them to blow up the uh. The coaching staff, like, blow up the coaching staff, get a whole new regime in there. I don't know, man. Honestly, I think Jerry, Jerry Rosberg wrote, what's his name, Rosberg? Jerry Rosberg. I think he's going to get a head coaching job somewhere. If they do that, he's going to get a head coaching job somewhere. Keep Harbaugh. I feel like you got to keep Harbaugh. Not as a head coach, though. He cannot, he cannot, he cannot be a head coach because he is not a head coach. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love John Harbaugh. I love John Harbaugh. Really do. No gay shit. I love John Harbaugh. But he is not a head coach. Not for this team, at least. Not for this team. I feel like you keep him. Put him, like, make him an assistant coach or something. But we need we need a coach that's not, I don't know how to put it, not timid, but, you know, that's not afraid to speak his mind to the other coaches, to the players. You know, I feel like a lot of play, a lot of players don't show John Harbaugh a type of respect. Not respect. I don't know, like lack, lack of a better term. They don't show him the type of respect that I see other coaches, other players give their coaches. Like you hear, you hear Joe call him John by his first name and stuff. Like he. Like I don't, I don't think Drew Brees called Sean Payton Sean. I think you call him Coach Payton. You know, I could be wrong. Maybe I'm not. But it's like a lot. Of, it's a lot of coaches that I don't think it's a lot of coaches, a lot of players on the bank on the uh, uh, Patriots that call Bill Bill. They call him Coach Belichick or just Coach. You know, the, you know, for you to be the, a court uh, a coach and you command that respect, I think that. Harbaugh's losing that. I don't think, I don't think he's getting that. On, play, they play for him. They really do. They they play for him. They play for Harbaugh, but they don't. He he doesn't have that authority anymore, at least. Or or maybe he didn't even have it because when we had our success, forget after the Super Bowl. After the Super Bowl, who left? Ray Lewis, Ed Reed, guys like that. They left. They commanded the defense. You seen you. I know y'all seen the uh like the America's team, 
Ray said, I need to talk to the team. Right? What Harbaugh said, oh, you talk to the team. Talk to the team anytime you want to talk to the team. I'm the coach, but shit, you talk to the team anytime you want to. Go ahead, go ahead. What the fuck? I mean, I know I'm the coach, but shit, fuck, fuck it. Go ahead, do what you got to do. This shit got way past uh, the point I meant, but what was I saying? Oh yeah, the, the dumbass fans, stop, stop repeating rhetoric that you heard 